Hello everybody, Floppy Hat Photos back here again for another episode of my Red Flags series here. And today's red flag is going to be if the person that you're in a relationship is basically, I guess, cheating on their partner they're in now, then that's going to be a big, big red flag that they're not going to be able to be loyal to you. So one of the ways I heard the saying said once was if they'll cheat with you, they will cheat on you. And one of the things, if you know that going in, that they're already in a relationship and they're, you're cheating with them, that's shame on you also. That's not cool. If you want to be with somebody, let them get out of their marriage, let them get out of their relationship, and then go do whatever you want to do after it's over. But I've had one of them that was still married, and I didn't know they were married. They had described to me as they had a roommate situation, and turned out to be that roommate situation was husband and wife. So... That was one of the big ones when I found out, and it was one of those things where, I don't know, I just, it was really kind of a twisted up thing. I've had another one where I dated a lady who uh, didn't tell me the fact she was never married, but it was um, had a child by this man, and they were still living together, and she basically told me that she was waiting for him to leave. Same thing he done with his first kid was when the kid turned like eight, he just walked out and never spoke to him again. And I kind of looked at that, I always consider that age of eight, since be an age a lot of fathers leave, when the kid can see that you're a piece of shit and they can actually acknowledge it. So at age five, you can be a piece of shit father. Or age six, and the kid forgets it real quickly and you bring them, you know, a new ice cream cone or something and, or a new little doll or a new stupid toy and they're like, oh my God, you're the greatest person ever. By the time you get to age eight, the kid kind of realizes that you can't buy them off with something so simple as a tiny little gift or a video game or something like that. So usually, that's when a lot of the really shitty fathers bail out. And for her not to just take, not to leave prior to that, I don't know why she'd want to stick around in a situation along those lines that was so bad because I mean I don't know and why that one there I didn't know about I knew about early on before we got into it stuff but she said, kept saying she was leaving and then never left and that was years ago and far as I think she's still with the guy because the kid hasn't turned eight yet so um, that right there is one of those bad things the other one was basically I was told that she was still married and it wasn't a roommate situation and she'd already been up to see me we've been dating for a while we've been seeing each other and been together quite often. There's something weird because every time I want to go down anywhere near her place, she'd want to go meet at a hotel somewhere, always want to come up to me, which was odd because then I realized because she has a husband in the house, it's kind of hard to bring your new boyfriend home when you have a husband in your same house. So definitely that's a big red flag for me. If they haven't taken the time to get out of the relationship and work on themselves and find their own personal time and self-reflect and kind of see what it's like out there, you shouldn't be in with somebody who's want to jump from relationship to the next relationship. And I'm also another, I'm a you know, cliche magnet on this one, but always be um, running from something, not running to something. Or no, you need to be running to something, not running from something. So if you're basically running away from this relationship into a better you know life just to get away from that crap, okay, fine. But you need to find your own little something first before you jump into a new relationship because that tells me a lot of times that you have, I guess you don't have the ability you think, you don't have the trust in yourself to actually have enough confidence in yourself that you can be able to be happy alone. And if you can't be happy alone, I don't think it's possible to be happy together because no matter what, at some point, that person's not gonna be able to bring you enough happiness to keep you happy all the damn time. So one of the big things, I always, the thing I heard was you'd be single for at least one month for every year, year you were in a long-term relationship. So if you were married for 12 years, you need to be single for a full year. If you were married for five years, five months, so on and so forth. So, and I said, not say married, if you were in a committed, you know,